George W. Bush, the 43rd president. Good afternoon. This is Ms. Burkett from Short Pump Middle, and I'm here to share information with you about our 43rd president, George W. Bush. He's often referred to as 43 because his father, George Herbert Walker Bush, was the 41st president of the United States. George W. Bush was born in New Haven, Connecticut and was raised in Texas. He graduated from Yale and received a business degree from Harvard. After college, he returned to Texas and got into the oil business. He met his future wife, Laura Welch, who was a teacher and a librarian. They got married and had twin daughters, Jenna and Barbara Bush. The 2001 presidential election between George W. Bush and Al Gore was one of the closest in history. On November 7, 2000, the election took place but was too close to call that night. After numerous recounts in Florida, the U.S. Supreme Court suspended the recount in a 5-4 decision on December 12, 2000. Even though Bush lost the popular vote, he won the Electoral College vote. This has happened five times in our nation's history. Most recently, with Donald Trump defeating Hillary Clinton with more Electoral College votes, but losing the popular vote. When George W. Bush became president on January 20, 2011, it was only the second time in history that a president's son became president. John Adams was our second president, and his son, John Quincy Adams, was our sixth president. Just nine months into George W. Bush's presidency, two planes flew into the World Trade Center in New York City. This terrorist attack on September 11, 2001, transformed him into a wartime president. In response, Bush's administration formed the Department of Homeland Security and sent American forces into Afghanistan to break up the Taliban. Although the hunt for their leader, Osama bin Laden, started in 2001, he wasn't found and killed until 2011. Here are some fun facts about George W. Bush. He loves baseball and was once part owner of the Texas Rangers. He was the first president to run a marathon and was an avid jogger as president. He served in the Air Force National Guard and was a fighter pilot. He's the only president with an MBA degree. Today, you can find George W. Bush doing an oil painting or watching one of his twin daughters, Jenna, as co-host of the Today Show.